What's up everybody? I'm taking a break from playing Apex Legends on PS4 to do this unboxing video which I've been meaning to do for a while and actually I was just waiting um, for the right time for it because I feel like I have just so much going on right now not only with YouTube but uh, with my day job as well just a lot happening right now but uh, yeah found a good moment here to take the time to do this unboxing which is uh, there are a lot of figures here I'm about to run through so I probably won't unbox too many of them. There are at least two that I really do want to take a closer look at so I may get those out of the box but most of these I'm just going to share pretty quickly. The first one here is actually a double for me. I have here another Noob Noob and this one I actually did put it up as an option in my latest giveaway and um, it was not chosen so I still have an extra available I'm kind of considering doing what I thought I might do the, and you know to begin with when I got the double is to take one of them and actually have the um the eyes painted you know with the whites of the eyes so it looks even more like the character I mean I like the pop as is but I'm, I'm just kind of curious to see what he would look like you know with the whites of his eyes but I um, haven't really decided if I'm gonna do that or not you know I'll, I'll think on that basically but yeah I am happy with this pop as I said when I shared it uh, previously next up here I have Slick Morty and um, you might already get an idea of where I'm going with this yes I do have this full wave of the latest Rick and Morty pop so that's what I'm gonna run through here very quickly now I'm um, Slick Morty if I'm remembering correctly I, he might have been in the Citadel episode I have been going back watching the series there are some episodes still though that I remember more so than others that I don't know why that the Citadel episode where it just focuses on the Citadel and all the Ricks and Mortys like almost every character in the episode is a Rick or a Morty um, I don't know why that one just doesn't really grab me I mean it is funny it has funny moments but it's just not the most memorable episode to me but I'm pretty sure that's where Slick Morty comes from and then also teacher Rick as well yeah, so I think both of them are from that one episode. I really do like um, Teacher Rick's hair sculpt. I think that is very much on point. Yeah, and his outfit too, you know, with uh, the robe there. Yeah, and the sweater vest up underneath. Yeah, it looks pretty good up close. So, yeah, I think the Teacher Rick actually looks a lot better than the Slick Morty one. And, you know, like I said, it's a funny episode, just not one of my favorites. Next up here we have Fruity Land Beth. I actually like this one more than I thought I would, you know, getting to see it up close. I like that she actually has the mouth on. You know, I think with all the Rick and Morty ones, it seems like they tend to do the mouths on them, you know, to make them look even more true to the cartoon. So I actually do like that. But uh, yeah, I like this, um, you know, like I said, more than I thought I would. And she's all <laughs> ready for battle there, you know, based off of that episode where they went to um, Fruity Land, which is another one I actually need to go back and watch. There are some that... um basically I, I let the episodes just run on Hulu but sometimes I do get um, sidetracked working on videos and whatnot and so I may not really pay much attention to an episode so I don't remember watching this one again or the Citadel one that's probably why I don't remember it so well so yeah I, I do need to go back and check those out also but yeah like I said I like her design I like the colors on it you know and like I said just that look of her being ready for battle I think this one is much better than the um, other Beth pop her with the wine glass looking all upset I mean I get why they did that one but I actually like her like this you know looking much tougher the next two pops I really like both of these characters here and there are a lot of very cool characters on Rick and Morty that you only get to see for one episode like noob noob I'd be surprised if we ever see noob noob again but um yeah, I really do like these characters here. We have, I'm trying to remember how you pronounce her name. I think it's Kiara, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mispronouncing that, but uh, yeah, this uh, warrior that Jerry ended up dating for a while. Yeah, that, that was a pretty funny episode too. And um, I, you know, I, I almost want to unbox her. I'm not going to though, just for the sake of time, you know, but, um, and then kind of awkward to talk too much about this character I just will say she does have a certain feature that is very accurate to the episode I'm not gonna say any more than that if you know the character then you know what I'm talking about there but uh, yeah I like her colors too her colors look really nice so we also have here like I said another character that was just in one episode but a very cool character we have unity and of course um, Unity is a hive mind so she took over a lot of bodies but as far as her speaking in the episode this was the main um, you know body that she inhabited so or I guess it inhabited basically but um, yeah I, re I really like the character of Unity I thought that was a very interesting episode one of the deeper episodes in terms of um, you know showing some emotion from Rick actually <laughs> because you realize in the end even though he's being very selfish he actually did 
have some attachment to Unity. So that was interesting. It was a really interesting episode. But yeah, I like the I like her design. You know, I like the glasses on there that actually had the lenses in there. Again, a very cool head sculpt. You know, so hair sculpt, I should say. So yeah, this is that full wave of Rick and Morty pops. Before I continue with the video, since I do have, you know, a main focus here on Rick and Morty, and you notice that I have the plain background back there, I'm just going to go ahead and focus here completely on Rick and Morty. Now, I know I'm putting this video out the week of Valentine's, and yes, I could try to come up with something, you know, related to Valentine's as a background, but the holiday is going to come and go very quickly, and I tend to keep my backgrounds for a while because it takes a lot of shuffling around to actually do this background. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as Rick and Morty for a little while here, and I have done Rick and Morty before, but I did want to mix it up some, though, you know, so I do have that new um, set there in the background for now. But uh, the next pop I have here, and as, as a matter of fact, the rest of the pop, you're about to see in this video they are part of a trade and it's kind of an ongoing back and forth that I have going with a, a collector from Australia and um, we are friends on Instagram we talk every once in a while about pops of course and uh, yeah it's just very cool to have somebody that I can trade with in Australia I've actually traded with more than one individual in Australia because there are some things that they can get easily and then you know some things I can get easier than they can get their hands on so it just it works in that way you know and again that's very cool that the collecting community you know really is a global community you know it's very cool to connect with people in that way but uh, one of the pops that she sent my way here is Tiny Rick and uh, Tiny Rick I actually watched this episode again the one he's featured in and absolutely love that episode it's definitely one of my favorites because uh, yeah it's just so funny and it's really nice to see Rick um, being young and upbeat and everything but still having that you know the same old Rick beneath the surface there yeah so this was a really great episode and um, you see on the back here it does have the wave that I just showed you all so it kind of fits in with that but it, you know it's an exclusive now this was a um, a box lunch exclusive here in the US since this came from Australia though it doesn't have the sticker I'm not worried about that you know I've said it before I collect the pops not the sticker so I don't really stress over that I just wanted to make sure I got the pop figure and um, she ended up throwing this in because at the time uh, he had been online and then he just disappeared for a long time and I know he became available again but you know in that time where he wasn't available um, she went ahead and picked this up for me now this one I will unbox I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other pops that I have here though but I am gonna come back to this one and I will unbox it because I do want to take a closer look at it and um, she did actually send all the pops and assault in soft protectors which was very nice she definitely did not have to do that now the next pop here it actually does have a sticker on it because in Australia um, it was a pop culture exclusive so this is the first pop I've ever had with a pop culture exclusive so yeah I just noticed that you know because I yeah like I said I've never had one before so that's why this sticker jumped out at me but again it's not about the sticker it's about the pop so we have here Okoye and um, Okoye of course is um you know was first introduced within Black Panther but I mean she's just part of the Marvel Universe in general of course she also had a role in um you know the last Avengers movie Avengers Infinity War I'm assuming you know we might see her um in the next movie I really don't know I mean it's, it's kind of hard to tell but um yeah like I said I didn't get this one initially but after not getting it initially because it was a Funko Shop exclusive and I think I kind of hesitate on it and then it did end up selling out you know which is okay but I do have it now her outfit looks absolutely great so I don't know I wasn't originally planning on unboxing this one I might take a closer look at this one too in a moment we'll see here I'll try to gauge how long the video is turning out basically but yeah her outfit looks really awesome there and I love the painting on the um, head as well next up we have two holiday themed pops and I told this story before that I accidentally when I sent my box off to um, Australia I accidentally sent one of the wrong pops or I sent an extra pop that was supposed to be mine so she, she was nice enough you know go ahead and send this back to me but yeah it's kind of just a silly mistake that happened that just happens when I have so many um, boxes going on at one time but yeah we have here the um, elf Betty Boop and Pudgy which was part of Funko's 12 Days of Christmas so yeah I finally got this one back in my collection now yeah and I'm glad to have it it is a very cool pop figure I've been getting um most of the Betty Boop pops I'm not trying to get every single one but you know just the ones that I really like so it is good that this made its way back to me now and then also I have here the holiday 
Harley Quinn, which is um, her bombshell design. This one actually still has the um, plastic on it. Let me get, at least get it off the front there so you can go ahead and get a better look at it. This one I will leave in box because, I mean, if you've seen the bombshell one before, you pretty much know what this looks like. It just has the holiday colors, though. The last pop that she sent is one that had just released, and I, I probably could have tried to grab it online, but she just went ahead and grabbed it for me, which I definitely appreciate so I didn't have to babysit the website. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive here in the U.S. Okay, we have here Dawn Breaker Batman which of course is a evil version of Batman crossed up with Green Lantern. So very unique design here, even the box stands out, you know, it looks very unique for a Funko Pop, you know, with this black box. So this is one I definitely want to take a closer look at here in just a moment. Yeah, I really love the look of the box, you know, with the Batman 80 years on there. Very cool. Overall, I really do like the design of this Batman, this particular one, the Dawnbreaker Batman, even though I don't know how I feel about this part of the design, you know, which I, I guess is meant to kind of give off the feel of the lantern itself. That just seems kind of a weird idea, a weird concept. And I wonder um, within the comics if that is actually functional in any way, because if it's not, I feel like it really should not be part of the costume. I think, you know, there's already enough with all the green going on and, of course, the uh, Green Lantern symbol there to give off the feel that this is a mashup between Batman and Green Lantern. So that part feels a little bit like overkill to me. But other than that, like I said, I really do like the look of this design here. I like how it has, you know, the lenses here, but then it has also the brow formed within the mask there as well. Yeah, and of course, like I said, just that the Green Lantern details matched up with Batman and this being like an almost armor looking suit. It is very cool. And, you know, he doesn't have the cape, of course. He doesn't need a cape, you know, rep representing here that matched up with Green Lantern. So this is very cool. I know there were rumors at first about this possibly being either glow in the dark or a light up pop. And um, Funko made sure they dispelled those rumors pretty quickly, you know. But this is very cool, though, like I said, to have. Um, the Dawnbreaker Batman here, I got the Batman who lasts now, and we'll see if they do any other characters from Dark Knight's Medals, which I still have not read yet, but I plan to, I just gotta find the time basically to read the, uh, you know, to buy and then read the collected editions. Um, I have actually watched like summaries of the storyline, it seems pretty interesting, so I do want to check that out, and I do want to check out the um, Batman Who Laughs um, standalone series as well, but again, I'll probably wait for collected editions because um, that's just what works best for me, the collected editions, I really like, I'm a big fan of those, so yeah, like I said, very happy with this pop here. And then I did go ahead and unbox Okoye, and she does come with the stand, which I figured would be necessary because her legs are very slim. Um, the outfit here, though, just, you know, especially for a Funko Pop, this is a very intricate outfit. Has a lot of nice details to it. You know, things sculpted. The things that need to be sculpted are sculpted. Things that should have some texture to them actually do. So, yeah, they did a great job with this. I think this, um, you know, actually is one of the better... Funko Shop exclusives uh, from last year. I know a lot of people go crazy over the ad icons, of course, but just in terms of design and detail, yeah, this is an amazing figure here. So really am glad now that I had this as a part of the collection. Still not sure if I want a Koye in the red dress or not. Um, I know a lot of people like that one because it does have that gimmick basically with the um, the wig that's removable. And that was a funny moment within the movie, you know, the Black Panther movie. So, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure whether or not I'll go for that one or not. If I see it at a good price, maybe I will. But, yeah, I really do like the look of this. It is kind of a shame. Um, well, maybe not so much. But um, and those of you that stuck with The Walking Dead can let me know how you feel about Michonne. Um, basically having a less of a presence on the series and the upcoming episodes and upcoming seasons that um, yeah the actress is basically stepping down to an extent I mean she still will be in the series some and I think she's going to be in the uh, movies that AMC is planning to do but yeah she's not going to be a series regular anymore which I'm not surprised because I mean her career is taking off in other ways you know so but yeah if you've stuck with the series let me know how you feel about that you know all these um OG characters that are leaving you know is it do you think it's still worth it to stick with the series at this point like how much life do you think the series has left in it and that's not a pun by the way I know it's The Walking Dead but yeah not trying to make a pun there and then the last figure that I want to take a look at here is Tiny Rick because I really have been waiting on this one. 
I think it's just so awesome. I love him sitting on the stool. I mean, this is right out of a scene from the episode when he was playing the guitar and he was singing, trying to get a message across to his grandkids in a very funny way. You just have to watch this episode. Um, yeah, so I actually like this one so much. I, don't, I might keep it out of box with the um, the background here for a while. You know, of course, it fits in very well because this is all Rick and Morty background now. But uh, yeah, pretty simple design overall. I mean, if you've seen a Rick pop before, you know, then it's the details you pretty much expect. Except with him being younger, he doesn't have the drool going on and all of that. But I like that he has the guitar. And like I said, he's sitting on the stool. And this really does look like it's ripped pretty much out of the scene. So that is pretty awesome. Definitely let me know what you think about the figures that I got here. You know, like I said, this was mostly Rick and Morty figures, but let me know what you think about the figures overall. Do you have some of these in your collection? Are you planning on picking up some of these? What else would you like to see if you are a Rick and Morty fan? You know, what are some other pops you would like to see? I feel like I've been saying it for over a year now, and I probably have. I would really love to see Rick and Morty in the Purge outfits, the robotic suits. I would absolutely love that. Right now, they only have one figure that's a reference to that episode, and that's a minifigure of um, the character over there. I think her name is Arthrisha or something like that. But um, yeah, so yeah, I really would love if they would do that. I'd be very happy with that. It'd be a lot more interesting than that Rick and Morty with the cowboy hats. That was. Eh, not not very interesting to me you know the cowboy Rick and Morty so yeah hopefully they will do them in the purge suits eventually and hopefully you know we don't have to wait forever for season four I think it's finally on the way I think there actually are previews out there already so really looking forward to Rick and Morty season four I definitely am a big fan of that series and thanks to everybody you know that suggested I check that series out but yeah that's gonna do it for this video please make sure you drop a like on the video make sure that you comment as well and I'll talk to you all again real soon.